Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving momentum. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that a 45 kilogram girl moves at six meters per second when running for the school bus. How much momentum does she have? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we know that the momentum is what we're trying to find. We know that the mass of the girl is 45 kilograms, and the velocity of the girl is 6 meters per second. So writing down our equation for momentum, we have P equals MV, and substituting in the numbers, we get 45 times 6, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 270 kilogram meters per second. Question 2 says that a rugby player has a mass of 75 kilograms. How fast does he have to run to have a momentum of 525 kilogram meters per second? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the velocity V, we know the momentum is 525 kilogram meters per second, and the mass of the rugby player is 75 kilograms. So writing down our equation for momentum, we have P equals MV. Rearranging for velocity V, we divide both sides by M, so we end up with V equals P over M. And substituting in the numbers, we get 525 divided by 75, which gives a final answer of 7 meters per second. Lastly, question 3 says that a wheelbarrow has a momentum of 177 kilogram meters per second when it is moving at 3 meters per second. What is the mass of the wheelbarrow? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the mass. We know that momentum is 177 kilogram meters per second and the velocity is 3 meters per second. So writing down our equation for momentum, we have P equals MV. Rearranging for mass this time, we divide both sides by V, so we get M equals P over V. And substituting in the numbers gives us 177 divided by 3, which, if you put into your calculator, should give you an answer of 59 kilograms. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.